a long weekend in Illinois. Uh, we're back in Tennessee. Uh, David and Andy both killed this past weekend. I was about as close as you could get without killing one, so uh, I had great again. again. Had great hunts, though. We probably set up on three or four birds, and we're talking about, you know, 10 yards, been able to pull the trigger. I mean, it happens, but anyway, um, Matt had these birds here on his farm that he seen yesterday afternoon. Um, he actually come out this morning, to, and they're, they've been gobbling since 5 o'clock this morning, so they're pretty fired up, to say the least, so we're going to slip around here, uh, get set up on a big hardwood ridge where they just naturally come off the roost and want to go. So we're going to try to get in there on him tight, call to him, give him a little fly down, and hopefully he'll work our way. That's the plan anyway. You know how that's been for me and Matt here lately. So we're the, we're the real close, but uh, not, quite not quite there. So we're hoping this morning's the morning. So we're going to ease up in here and get set up on this old guy. See if we can't work him in this morning.
shot, but that's okay. <laughs> you all done. He's just flopping. Good lord. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I seen him so right down the hill. I could just, I could just see his head. Never seen that. And, and he broke. And then I lost him again, because he was just standing out underneath us. And I seen him start coming up that way. And I lost him. And then he gobbled. And then I never seen him. I guess where that little roll is right yeah, there. Yeah, they're, they're, they stay I heard, I, had, I could keep hearing birds behind us. Yeah, I, was I like, think they went around us. I was thinking, well, you know, they're going to walk right behind <laughs> us here. So. I knew he was still down there. <laughs> okay. so, well, but, me and Matt has a long history. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know this, but we've got a long history. We've deer hunted probably more than we turkey hunted together, you know. We're probably getting close now. Yeah. But literally, literally have never killed anything <laughs> while we're hunting together. That's not my fault. Even if <laughs> even if he's on one side of the farm and I'm on the other deer hunting, we have never actually harvested an animal together. So this makes this a little bit bittersweet. Of course, all of you guys know about the Old Benelli Click in Alabama, birds at 12 steps. And well, this morning the Benelli didn't come out. I brought old Betsy out. I got the old Mossberg 935 out because I told Matt this morning, ain't no bird going to skirt us at 50 yards anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm laying a hammer down on it. So this worked out really good. The crazy thing was is this bird here was the one that Matt had been hearing. So it was about that time to do a little little bit of tree yelp, and I do, and this bird over here to our right just gobbles. He's it is like, like oh gosh. Yards from us, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were right on top of this I think, bird. I think he might have been the, one of the ones that I heard early before you got here. Yeah. At five o'clock. <laughs> and now that one down the hill was the one that kept gobbling all morning, basically. Yeah, yeah. And and, and the crazy thing is, is I mean, this guy was going to try to skirt us again. I don't think he was coming in. He, oh, I think he would. There's a fence. I, think he I mean, he was. I wasn't gonna give him an opportunity. How about that? But, um, but yeah, that bird gobbled over here, and then then I watched like four or five other birds pitch out, which I'm guessing they were hens. So this worked out really good for this guy because he was by himself down here, just in these cedars. Which is probably why. And he was coming a lot so quicker. Much. This bird here never gobbled once his feet hit the ground again. So, Whew. that was awesome. There he is. Pretty good bird. Pretty good beard. What do you think? Uh, uh, probably nine, nine inches, nine, eight, nine yeah. inches. Nine, nine got nine pretty half. good. Got pretty good spurs. I'm guessing he's probably probably a three year old. Um, he didn't really want to come up that hill. And anybody that's watched me and Matt, we've been super, super oh. close all year long. Uh, here lately, it's just been, they've just been pretty much skirting us. You know, pitching down, being on them right off the roost, just like we were these birds, hitting their feet on the ground, and then just basically going around us, staying out there 60, 70 yards, circling us. We can see them. Happened to us last week, a couple of times, so. Didn't happen this morning, did it, Matt? It sure did not. But um, good looking happen. bird, tickled to death. Got one tag left. There's one good thing about it though. Matt's got all three of his tags. So well, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to as long as it took you to kill this second one though, I don't know. Golly, think ain't that the truth. For me to ever get the hunt anyway. pace, pace that I'm on, you may have told your three till next year. <laughs> <laughs> good looking bird though. Like I said, we're up in Overton County, one of Matt's farms. Well, yeah, that's good. Good bird. He's a dang good bird for this morning. <laughs> Do what? He said he's a dang good bird for yeah. this morning. Dead bird's always a good bird. That's the best guy. 